to echo quilt I'm just going to put this stitching line on this first underscore so that means it's a half a quarter of an inch to the foot and then another quarter of an inch to the needle and again if I'm doing it to the rear here I went a little bit far so I'm just gonna take a step back I want to do some curved cross hatching within this area. Let me get to that area here. Okay, I'm going to use the fine line arc ruler. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and place this guideline along in the center, I think. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit there so you can see. Okay, and again, you want to make sure that you place your ruler so that you know it's going to come a quarter of an inch away from there because that's where the foot's going to be and that's about a quarter of an inch. Let's see how close I came. Oh, very good. So now I'm going to step the ruler over about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to move the ruler and the edge of the ruler is going to be right on that stitch line and I'm going to go backwards and this is a quarter of an inch. So it's going to be a quarter of an inch away from that line and again I can just move my foot to where I can see that line place this right on the line and then you can see the other line on that guideline and again do my stitching step it over So that's the curved, or the arc, and if I come over here, and I can use the ruler this way to do an arc going sideways without having to move my fabric and turn it. there. Okay. The Velcro on the bottom helps to grip that fabric and keep it nice and straight. So there you go. Okay. Now if I wanted to use the templates and do some scallops, let me walk over there. I'm just going to place that guideline on that line and then I can move my foot around there and get a perfect quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay, I'm going to move my template back just a quarter of an inch and get that swag going. Okay, one more time. Okay, and that's how you use the template, the half round template, to do a swag. Now you can use it for all sorts of things because the, that foot is just going to glide right along the line. I can just Maybe I want some sun rays or just some kind of half round things here. And that foot just glides along there, always providing me a quarter of an inch away from this edge of the template or the rulers. So that's how you use the new ruler foot called Clarity. It's a fine line clarity ruler made by Accents in design 
and I love it. The clarity of it is perfect. It's clear. You can see all the way around it and get your rulers working around it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will purchase your ruler foot from Accents and Design and give them a call. And if you have ever have any problems, just give them a call and they'll be sure to handle it.